And to be very honest with you, I am going to let this superstar introduce herself to you with her voice. Clay, before I even get into an introduction, we need to hear your voice on set. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, let me sing one of my very popular songs. Been in the fire, been in the gutter, fought on my bottles, yeah. Oh, God, this is my been in the fire, been in the gutter, fought on my bottles, yeah. Oh, God, this is my. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only Clay in the studio with us, and we are going to end the show with a bang. It is amazing to have you on set. How are you Thank doing you. today? Good morning. Afternoon. Afternoon. I know I always get confused as well. I'm like, is this still morning or have we transitioned? So I want our viewers today to get to know Clay. Who is Clay? Clay is a singer-songwriter. She's um, she does alternative rock music, pop rock music as well. Um, she's Nigerian, I'm Igbo from Imo State, um, I'm a rock head, I love rock music. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. How did you carve that niche for yourself? What led you to love rock and pop? Um, I, I, this, is, like, this is like the most cheesy answer, but go for it. <laughs> I, I'll say rock music found me, like, it's not something I was looking for, it's just like, even when I had to pick my own TV stations at the age of 12, 10, I was listening to MTV, yeah. UK original, yeah. yeah. Like, because I wanted to listen to rock music. I was watching certain cartoons because they had, like, rock bands playing them. So it's just... That's amazing. Yeah. That's actually amazing because there, there aren't that many Nigerian rock artists today. Yeah. So you're definitely one of a kind. And I think that's great for our music industry because you're helping to expand our music yeah. industry. But, of course, with that clay also comes challenges. The challenge of being an upcoming artist, yeah. the challenge of being a woman as well. Tell us about your challenges in Nigeria's music industry. It's it's um, it's it's not been smooth at all. It's not it's not been easy. Is um, but yeah, there's there's progress. Like I'm not where I used to be like two years ago. Like more people know my music. I have a bigger and stronger followership now. But um, we still alternative music in Nigeria still needs airplay like the mainstream music so that's 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 the challenge we just need people to hear our songs like we're close to 200 million pe people in nigeria so of course the people who want to hear this kind of music they're, they're out there but we just need to find them and using the right mediums to find them as well okay i'm gonna ask you something and it's going to be around what you want for yourself as an artist because we have certain artists in nigeria today who understand the music business and you won't even see them but then we have artists who also understand the music business, fair enough, maybe not as much as yeah. certain people, but they're out there, they're at the forefront of the Nigerian music scene, etc. One person who keeps herself in a shadow, but her music always pops is someone like Asha. Do you understand? So is that the kind of route you want to take for yourself, or do you want to bust right out there at the forefront of Nigeria's music industry? I want to, I want to, I want to be at the forefront and beyond Nigeria. I want to be the first and the biggest rocker from this part of the world to the rest of the world. Like, I want, I want rock music in, from Nigeria to be on the map. I don't want it to just be in Nigeria. I want people in the UK, in America to listen to, to say, oh, oh there's a rock scene in Nigeria. And that's, okay. that's, that's what I want to do. I believe in you, and I actually believe that you can definitely get there. Yeah. Who would you say are your greatest inspirations musically? I would say um, Dolores from Cranberries. And Alanis Morissette, I don't know if you know these people. <laughs> I know the first, Dolores, but yeah. I don't know the second. Interesting. One last one. Give us three now. <laughs> um, a bit of Avril Lavigne here and there. Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. I remember all of that on SingStar when I was growing up. Very interesting, very interesting. So, if you could collaborate with any artist, I want one in Nigeria and one internationally, who would it be? Um, here in Nigeria, I'm looking at Adekule Gold. That's my, that's my next. <laughs> That's my next game. Yeah. And internationally, oh, everybody else. <laughs> everybody, like, I, the list is too long. Like, there's it's just that Dolores is dead now. I wanted to do something with her. There's Keisha. There's, of course, Avril Lavigne. There are all the many, many rock bands and metal bands from South Africa to UK to Europe. Everybody. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Now, I want to get into your latest single. But before we touch on that, tell me, why the name Clay? Okay. Clay means better and better. So you take ordinary clay, you sieve through it, you add water, 
mold, put in the fire, you dry in the sun, paint, do whatever you want to do. You find that with time, process, ordinary clay becomes something beautiful. So I'm saying that it will never be my best, even now, like, even my music video, this will never be my best music video. This will never be my best song. I'm always going to work on myself. I'm going to be a better and better person, better artist, better singer. Perseverance, that's great. Yeah. So now let's tap into your latest single. And I just want to leave the floor to you to tell us all about it. Okay, um, my new single, The One, feature, features Johnny Drill. And um, I, I usually, like, if you follow my music, I don't have any love song. Like, I'm always talking about hope sadness or something. So my producer called Flames like, hey, let's do a love song. I'm like, okay, I should do a love song because I don't have a love song. Then I decided to, um, who else to call? Johnny Drill, he's a love guy. So yeah, that's how we came about it. Interesting. What has the response been like? It's been good. It's just three days old. Yeah. I can't lie. That's one of the best music videos that I've personally ever seen. Did, were you expecting the direction to come out that way? No, I didn't think it would be this good, but it was. we had this idea in our heads, but it came out better. And we saw you there with your dancing skills as well. <laughs> Are you a natural dancer, or did you actually have to get into some serious choreography? Okay, I used to dance. I used to be a professional dancer like 10 years, mm. like 12 years back, but I had to come back again. It was, it was really hard. It was hard to, because I had to go through. I had to get a teacher, and it took like two weeks. I sprained my hamstring and wow. <laughs> yeah wow so what can we expect from clay in the next let's say five years um in five years clay will be the biggest rocker from nigeria to the world amazing amazing so what is your strategy in the next five years to do more features go on tours release more good good and better music and tour. I want to tour and tour around. That's really good. That's going to be a very exciting five years yeah. then. So, Clay, if you could change one thing about Nigeria's music industry today, what would you change? It would be the, um, it would be the, the monotonous way of it all. Because in other music industries all over the world, in America, for example, there's so much. Like, and we have a lot of people. So you can actually cater to so many people, but you just find that everybody is on one way, doing one thing to 200 million people. No, I believe that even though it's at least 1 million people out there would probably like my music. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the, there's, there's just this one thing going on. So that's the only thing I would like to change. Like if the people at the top would actually invest more in other genres of music, I think that we would see some change. Well, I love what you're doing. You're bringing the diversity to us. You are the change that we want to see. So it's very promising, especially for me as a music head and a music lover. I love your music. Thank I am you. a fan. I will say that 10,000 times. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.